What's up, nerds? I'm Kappa Joey, and welcome to our first ever episode of r slash thanks. I hate it. I'm gonna cheat a little bit with this one, like I do with the delusional Craigslist, and I'm going to also include posts from r slash awful everything, because you know what? I freaking hate those two, so let's get on with it. No. 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 No! I've mentioned before, I'm a freaking litmus test for mosquitoes. They love this boy. They love, they love their high calorie sugared boy. And they come for me, something rotten, I swear. I just, this, this would be me if I ever wore Crocs. Ooh, consider this. Drocs, you know, Crocs, but made out of denim. If you enjoy watching my content, then please consider throwing me a few pennies down at my Kofi down below. If not, thanks for just enjoying my content, and I hope you enjoy the episode. J.K. Rowling's latest book is about a murderous cis man who dresses as a woman to kill his victims. <sighs> oh, God! If you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen that I've discussed this a lot as your friendly, cheerful tran. Um... Yeah, she's she's just written a load of transphobic propaganda. I do hate it. It's it's just such crap. And for everyone going, oh, well, it's actually about a cis man in a dress, which isn't a trans woman. Hmm? What about Buffalo Bill? Hmm? I'm very smart to consider these loopholes. No, you're not. No, those have been discussed to death. Because the problem is, is that even if within the fiction they say, oh, this isn't actually a trans person, the problem is, is that people read that thinking, this is a trans person. This is their only reference. So that's the problem is that there was a story, um, it's part of this uh, documentary that's coming out about trans people. When, when this woman came out as trans, th the first thing that somebody said to her was what, like Buffalo Bill, which is the worst example to freaking have. Also, yes, cis men in dresses aren't trans women, but you know who thinks trans women are just men in dresses? J.K. Rowling. So when she writes a book about a man in a dress killing women and, you know, putting on a dress to invade their spaces and killing them, don't you think that's a bit much? Damn, sucky baby, you're looking kind of different. <laughs> Oh man, this was me. This was freaking me for a while, right? Freaking, oh, pre-testosterone but binding. <laughs> like, I straight up look like this. You know, with like really wide hips. Oh man, like, what's one of the things I'm really pleased about since transitioning? Like, I know I got a nice round bum, but it is, <laughs> it used to be like this. Like, it wasn't, you know, as flat as it is now. Oh man, this has just brought back so many painful memories of selfies I took. Where I would like, quickly crop out my hips from the bottom of oh, damn. From Church News, oh boy, I bet this will be unbiased. Elder Hollands compares pornography to the plague in address to Utah Coalition Against Pornography. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles gives a remote keynote address for the Utah Coalition Against Pornography Annual Conference. <laughs> oh, God, look, that is a man. Look, look, look at that man, right? He needs a wank. I'm sorry. He needs to just go have a good wank. Maybe have a good sneeze as well. There's certain, you know, the build up and the relief of the sneeze is very similar to that. Pornography causes one to wank. The plague causes one to sneeze. I'm actually starting to see where this guy is coming from. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Frick, this is just so horrible. This is horrible. This is horrible. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so I thought that the dude was just insanely strong, which, yeah, kind of, but this is, uh, this is not healthy. I just looked it up and apparently it's this thing called diastasis recti, which is normally what happens in pregnant people after they give birth and their abs have to separate. Um, if you've not just given birth, then you shouldn't be able to do this. And from the looks of that guy, he doesn't look like he's just shoved the baby out of his cooch. 
So, oh, 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 I hate this. Let's move on quick. They ain't my virgingo without knowing it. <laughs> I'm a 36-year-old woman, wife, and mother. I'm always horny, so I like to spend a good part of the day slowly playing with my clam. Sometimes when I'm ready to nut, I get out whatever we're going to have for dinner and I frick myself with it until I nut. Sometimes it's corn on the cob, cucumber, zucchini, or even hot dogs or sausage links. I nearly nut when I watch my husband and sons eating their virgingo soaked meal and saying how good it tastes. Okay, so this is going to, you know, be nominated in the Cup of Joey Awards for the worst thing I've ever read and the worst thing I've ever had to read aloud. This is so gross. <laughs> Just so many ways. Oh, the interesting thing is I'm reading this on the 22nd of September, one whole year later. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> that's probably the best part of this. Oh, I mean, I want to believe that this isn't true. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. This this reads kind of like, you know, the whole uh, Playboy writing uh, penthouse kind of spiel where guys are basically writing with, you know, fantasies as the things that happen to them. I can see this... I, I can see this, like, this, this reads male, like, you know what I mean? This reads, like, a guy talking about, yeah, um, uh, I mean, the, the like, hot dogs or sausage links, I'm sorry, but who, who, who is going to get a sausage link and put it up their clam? I mean, do you even know what it's like, you know, before it's cooked, when it's, you know... Ugh, I, I mean, there's so much that could go wrong. This would be like asking for a major freaking yeast infection, you know? <laughs> is this, yeah, I mean, and I mean, if it if it were true, it'd be freaking pedophilic, so let's hope it isn't, because that's just absolutely foul. Hey, I don't know what you're complaining about, it's just Super Maria! <laughs> I, I really, I like it, I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> I like the fact that she's on top of the freaking, you know, the boxes that you have to freaking headbutt to get stuff out of. I don't hate it at all. I think this is freaking brilliant. To be fair, there were like a lot of uh, Mario kind of knockoff stuff. If anybody watches Ashens, then you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, on like the pop station with like those crappy LED screens. And loads of those were cool things like Super Maria. There was one called Super Mary as well. So, hey, I mean, if they actually animated this in there instead of just another freaking Mario knockoff, that would be absolutely brilliant. Mom got married to my ex today. Well, now my ex is my stepdad. Frick my life. Man, I would be saying way more than frick my life if that happened to me. There were so many steps up until this. I mean, not not just a stepdad. <laughs> I mean, what led up to this? Because, you know, he looks around the same age as the daughter, assuming. Um, I just... I, I, what led up to this point, you know? I mean, even if there was attraction between the, the mother and the uh, son-in-law slash now stepdad, I don't know. Like, there has to be a certain amount of, like, a bad relationship between you and your daughter for that to happen, right? Because, like, exes and all that, it's just a sensitive subject, and the fact that she's saying FML, hoo-hoo! Oh, then again, I mean, we don't know, maybe the daughter's a bad person, and the mother, I don't know, I mean, I don't think so, but this, this just seems, I, I want to know, I want to know so much of this backstory, I mean, holy crap. Hayato. Omaiwa wa shindaru. So this is supposed to be a reference to Jojo, um, I've not seen that anime yet. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it, I've mostly heard good things, uh, I don't know if it's worth watching or not, I'm not as big a weeb as I used to be as a teenager, but I'm still, I'm still weeby, I'm still kinda weeby, you know. Um, I'm still, you know, drinking that hentai pillow juice every night before I go to bed, so, you know, uh, is it worth watching? I don't know, let me know in the comments. As for the cat, I like it. I think it looks cool. It reminds me of my cat that passed. He was very fr frowny, but then very cuddly at the end. <laughs> what a lovely puss cat. OP said, thanks, I hate Yoshikage cat. I like Yoshikage cat. What do you put your ball? Look, look, it wants a little nose boop. A little frowny nose boop. You could have a little frowny nose boop. Oh, 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 I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, this, this one, this one really, really. Oh, no. 
Oh, they look like freaking maggots. Oh, they look like maggots swimming around. I hate this so much. Oh, the worst part about this for me is that this is like legit one of my all time favorite kinds of ice cream. I freaking love almonds and I love nuts and I love ice cream. And this, oh, why ruin it like that? This is just so gross. And a freaking sticky comment from the mod said, oh, I don't think it's that bad. Like, seriously, are you not seeing the same thing I'm seeing here? Norton Antifa, <laughs> something can't say. <laughs> oh, I don't want to shame her, but why, why, if you're going to do this, do you have to have the freaking Karen haircut as well? <laughs> now, uh, I mean, the good thing is that I don't think that she's going to be getting many Trojans or malware on her uh, biological hard drive. But uh, in terms of, in terms of our recent plague, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little hole in the middle. Um, I think that that's, you know, just big enough for them to get through. I don't know, you know, they are, they are big boys. They're great big balls, you know, spiky balls. that just come running at your mouth, you know. <laughs> and I think that that hole might just be a little bit too big. But hey, you know, I never know. Let's see, let's see how she fares off against the freaking virus. Indian snake charmer plays flutes. Tapeworm in my butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the kind of tapeworm party I want to be a part of. This is just all different kinds of dancing people photoshopped on top of one another. Because of that guy, that guy in the white shirt. <laughs> is he a Mormon? Is that a freaking Bible in his top pocket? Because I swear to God, that, that, like, that, is, that is a level of just manic euphoria I would love to reach in my life. I want whatever he's on. Oh, uh, the guy's married too. Congrats to him. Just spotted the wedding ring. Then again, who wouldn't marry a guy with moves like that? You see, this is the problem with modern day feminism. You end up with vaginas that have tentacles coming out of them. And... I mean, now my day's ruined. <laughs> Instructions for use. Interview your friends, family, and prospective dates using the following questions. You can interview them individually or in groups. Would you recognize your hand in a barrel of hands? <laughs> oh yeah, really breaking the ice on the first dates with that one. <laughs> oh, that just makes it look like you're gonna have some kind of really, really macabre hook and duck game with her later. You said you could recognize your hand in a barrel of hands, my dear. Let's put it to the test! <laughs> you know, that's, that's the impression it gives. Also, I would like to think yes, because I have very pudgy little sausage hands and my nails grow weird. And I've also got this kind of distinctive mole on my thumb. As if it's my right hand. Let's have a look at my left. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. My, my left hand isn't as distinctive. I never realised that I had one hand that was distinctive and another one that wasn't. Sorry, I need to go lay down after thinking about that. Jesus. Ooh, Mel Gibson's propaganda. The passion of the Christ. Oh, I'm widescreen with so many stickers. Oh, there's so much we can do. Loaded with added value. Adult content. Inclusives. No, includes, sorry. Two terrifying alternate endings. A warrior on Earth becomes a hero on Mars. Experience the shocking terror that will haunt you forever. Includes early access to this other random scary thing. Something available from these dates because it's all very small and I can't see it. But most importantly, you can relive the laughs. Deleted scenes and bloopers from Passion of the Christ. <laughs> yes, because that's what you really want. You want to see him like slipping off of the cross and oh, oh, you got me there, Jim. Matthew, oh, you cheeky sod. <laughs> I mean, who isn't, who isn't that going to offend? I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's worse a freaking relive the last of deleted scenes and bloopers from Passion of the Christ. Or just all of the freaking unnecessary stickers like, oh, it's got two alternate endings. This is gonna scare you. No, really, this is gonna scare the crap out of you. As seen on TV. Great value. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this episode of r slash thanks I hate it with, with just 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 a little mix of awful everything. 
If you hated this as much as I did, then go ahead and hit that like button! <laughs> or rather, if you want to hear from this subreddit again, then let me know. Or if you would like to hear from any other subreddit, then do let me know in the comments. I do read them and I do respond. And until then, I'll see you all next time.